everybody welcome back to my youtube channel or if it's your first time here hi my name is missa and today we are going to be doing this green smoky eye look i asked what you wanted to see and a lot of people said a green look a lot of people asked me to use the wet and wild um green liquid catsuit eyeshadow and yeah so that's what i've done i've done both i've mixed both together for this look now this look is a little bit convoluted in terms of I did have to use two different palettes. I used my Stacey Marie MUA Carnival palette and I used my Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette and then like I said I used the Wet n Wild but I also use um, Distortion Liner by Urban Decay so there's a lot of different products that go into this look but if it's something that you want to recreate like you don't have to get everything just use whatever you've got in your collection but I wasn't initially going to film it but when I put it on my Instagram um, I got a lot of requests to film it so that's what I've done. I've also got day one of period today. Is that too much information? Probably not. Most of us have them and it's awful. So I'm not as peppy in this video as I usually am. I'm not I'm like the peppiest person in the world but yeah. I hope you enjoy this video anyway and it's in some way fun to watch. And yeah, if you want to see how I got this green smoky eye, rest of the face I do off camera, we're just doing the eyes, then please just do keep on watching. So I've already got a lot of my base on and my eye is still tacky. I've not put any powder on that because I want it to be nice and wet for the shadows to stick to. So the first shade I'm taking is the shade Envy from the Stacey Marie MUA palette. Like I said, I am using a few different palettes for this look, but um, mostly because I wasn't planning on filming. I was just going to do a pretty look for Instagram and then um, I got quite a few requests. Once I posted the look on Instagram stories, so here we are. So it's quite a, a few different products we're going to need for this look, but just use whatever you have at home if you are going to recreate this. And sorry if you can hear the wind. It is very windy here. This is such a beautiful like forest green. I love it. This is my blank canvas E24 brush. It's really good for packing on colour. Like through the crease. It's also day one of period so if I'm not like woohoo! Not that I'm ever really like that. I think I'm quite definitely a quiet person in real life. <laughs> Then I'm taking the shade Mint from the Stacey Marie MUA palette on my Morphe M506 brush. And I'm kind of going like 50% on Envy and 50% on my skin. I'm just doing little tiny circular motions just to blend out the corners and the edges of Envy. The powder's there just so that any fallout gets easily swept away. And I'm taking that like right into this inner corner. And this is where we dip into our next palette. This is the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. And I'm taking the lightest kind of pastel green. And I'm gonna go all the way around what I've done. And I'll need to go back in and deepen up my crease, but I need this shade to blend these greens into my concealer. There isn't a colour light enough in the Stacey Marie palette for this. And I want to just stick with greens. I don't want to be really like putting browns or greys to transition it, I just want it to be greens. So that's why I'm using this. And I'm using it quite liberally, because like I said, I will go back and blend. Um, and deepen it up again but right now I just want to get it as blended as possible into my concealer. This is my Nima Jenny brush and I really like this one for just puffing and blending out. I'm picking up the shade Envy again on my Morphe M506 and I'm going to start to bring up this deeper crease colour much higher. Honestly, you all need this eyeshadow brush. <laughs> I think I use it in every tutorial and talk about how good it is. I think I'll probably just do eyes in this video. 
um, because I can already feel my tummy start to revolt against me trying to just do anything but lie in bed. And then I'm going back in with my Nima Jenny brush in the shade Mint just to blend out the top edge of that deep green. Just a pinch more. So I will come back to that blending, but right now I'm picking up a black eyeshadow. Any black eyeshadow will do. And I'm going to start placing this on my eyelid. And just kind of all over my mobile lid. I'm not trying to take it too high above my crease. More just making sure it covers my actual like movable eyelid. I've also deliberately not picked my like deepest best black because I don't want it to be too hard to work with. Sometimes if I like Sometimes if I pick like the deepest black and my best one, I do struggle to blend out, so. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going back in with my Morphe M506 and I'm picking up the black on that brush, but I'm also picking up the shade Envy as well. And I'm going to completely close my lid and like hold it tight closed. In one second. And then blend this round into my crease. I'm trying to keep my eyes closed because then I feel like I really see where I need to blend it and I don't end up taking it like way higher than I need to. It's just quite hard to keep my eyes closed when I'm trying to film this video. <laughs> see my eye just opens because it's like no I need to be open to see what I'm doing. <laughs> so now that's blended out like that, I know it's not looking great, I'm bad at blending out black. I'm going back into the shade Envy, mixed with a little bit of mint, and I'm going to just start blending that around the edge of the black, and just trying to get a nice gradient, which is kind of working. Okay, let's start having a wee bit more fun with this look. So I got so many requests to use this Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Eyeshadow in the shade Emerald Gaze, which hopefully you can see it's green. It's so gorgeous. So what I like to do is just put some on the back of my hand. I do this with all like metallic eyeshadows. I find that working with it off the back of my hand on a brush is easier than just like using the applicator. And then I'm using a small, fat, fat, flat brush. And I'm gonna start putting this all over my lid, pretty much exactly where that black went. Hopefully you're picking up on how beautiful that color is. And these are so inexpensive. They're on Beauty Bay now, but also on Boots. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they go to Superdrug at some point. They seem to be really expanding right now. Um, so I'm putting that all over my mobile lid, slightly into the crease, ever so slightly, just by patting it on with the flat brush. Is that not so beautiful? And it looks like quite textured and I actually really like that. You can probably see this pretty harsh line that's going on. It's always quite hard to blend that. I'm taking the middle colour from the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette on my Morphe M506, which is a sparkly metallic green. And I'm just going to go around the edges, like 50% on that gorgeous green on my lid and 50% into the matte shades that are on my crease and I, you know me, I like taking metallics into my crease and because I'm using this dry it's not the most pigmented but it is just helping create a more seamless line I feel between that metallic shadow and the mattes 
see all this fallout as well. Good job, I've got that powder down. So on the other eye, I was initially gonna do a nude eyeliner, like nude fading into black, but then it turned into green and sparkly. You know me, can't resist a bit of sparkle. So I'm taking Jeffree Star Mannequin, which is what I started off with on the other eye, because I feel like I need to replicate what I did so that I get the same effect. And I'm gonna do a chunky nude eyeliner to the end of my eye. This is a nail art brush. Let's just glide over that kind of chunky, oh, lid shade. And like I said, this is a bit of a convoluted look, so I'm then taking my BH Cosmetics Eye Lights in Gnarly, and I'm gonna paint that on top of the wing. Focusing mostly on the front and then going towards the end, but I am going to fade the end anyway. So that is gnarly over the nude liner. I'm going to let it dry and then we're going to go in with my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliner in Distortion for this super glittery bit. <laughs> Told you this was a weird look. So yeah, now I'm taking Urban Decay Distortion and I'm gonna paint this, especially again, towards the front. This is actually running out, so I've pulled the stopper out of the ball. And there's obviously a ton more product left in it, but it also dries out what you've got left really quickly, which is annoying. So it might look like I've got heaps, but it's mostly because, yeah, I've pulled the stopper out of the bottle. <laughs> like, I'm Scottish. I need to get my money's worth out of a product. Right, I'm going to let that dry. And while I'm letting it dry, I'm just going to throw on a black wing. I'll not do it on camera because I'll never get them to match. I'll, I mean, I'll not get them to match anyway, but I'll just throw on a black wing and then I'll show you how I ombre it into the green. That's what it's like thus far. So this wing is all manner of wrong. However, when I like clean up all my fallout and powder and that, I'm just gonna like conceal the edge. So I'm going in with the shade Envy from this Stacey Marie palette, that first shade that we used. And I'm just gonna go over the glitter at the end and then into the black. And like magic, it's going to start to look um, ombre. And then I'm going to use a bit more mint further onto the wing. And then more envy. I swear this will all look good when I'm done. Potentially. And then I'm using a bit of black shadow where I've taken that green too far. So what I'm gonna do is go clean up my like powder and fallout and powder my face and conceal, like adjust this wing and then we'll be back for like the lower lash line and um, lashes and things. But um, this is what we look like so far as we are. I think this bit, let me point to this bit here. I need to go over with a bit more of that um, wet and wild green because I think that's the glitter transferred but that's okay I can clean that up so I'll be back in a second. So I've kind of adjusted things, they're looking a bit more better. I'm going under my brow with the shade Mooney from the Stacey Marie palette because it's like a green toned highlight. It's an eyeshadow but you know what I mean. Going in quite liberally with that. And then, so for the lower lash line, I guess we should just get that out of the way. I'm gonna go in with Envy from the Stacey palette and try and not get fallout. I know I could put powder now under here, but oh, I'm so lazy, maybe I should though. There we go. Oh, I almost just dropped loose powder everywhere. So yeah, taking the shade Envy along the lower lash line. 
my lower lash line is so matte now because of how much powder I had under there that I'm actually kind of struggling to get eyeshadow to stick to it. And then I'm taking a bit of the black shadow I was using. And I'm gonna connect it to that top um, wing. Yeah, I actually feel like these eyeshadows aren't sticking to my skin. <laughs> and I'm gonna take my Huda palette in that middle shade that I used to kind of um, buff out the crease and I'm gonna run that along my lower lash line. But I'm gonna do it on a wet brush just to really get the pigment out of it. I do feel like this look is coming together but it's one of those kind of frustrating ones to film, to be honest. Yeah, that's showing nicely. I will buff the edges of it, but that's it on just now. And then I'm actually going to use a bit of my black eyeliner just on this outer corner along the lash line. And then a bit more black eyeshadow. I just want a stiffer brush just to blend it into. That's a wee bit better. Yeah, I'm glad I put that powder down. Thank you for that tip, whoever it was that left me it. I absolutely love getting tips from people because I know not that much, so it always helps. And then I'm gonna take Mooney again from the Stacey Marie palette. I'm actually just using this dry. I'm gonna chuck that through this inner corner. It's such a beautiful color and it's so pigmented. So I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my face off camera and then I'll be back and show you the kind of finished look. Um, I do think that the Wet n Wild um, metallic eyeshadow is going quite patchy on my eyelid. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, let me finish off the rest of my face and then I'll like make myself more presentable because right now, Apart from my eyes, I'm a total mess. And then for lashes, I'm using Lily Lashes Style Mykonos. I am not rich all of a sudden. I did not buy these. I would never spend this much money on a lash, however much I have always wanted them. But my lovely friend Anna, your stylish self on Instagram, sent them to me and I almost died when I opened them. So yeah, I'm gonna use Style Mykonos. I'm just gonna cut it to size. This is what they look like. They're very fluffy and very beautiful. So yeah, I'm just going to attach that with dual glue and then I'm going to finish off my lips because they're not looking great and do my hair and then we'll be finished. So this is the finished eye look with the rest of my makeup done. I also just threw in my fake ponytail. I tried putting my extensions in and I think honestly because I'm on my period like I can't just like have all of these like rows of extensions in so that's why my hair is like peeled back and I also put on a bright pink lip so if my lips look a bit discoloured I've put um Jeffree Star I'm nude on top but I did have like a bright pink lip on a second ago and I just thought no let's let's nude it out a little bit so yeah this is the overall makeup look I used that shade Mooney that I used underneath my brow and in my inner corners just on my body a little bit and as my face highlight and yeah I'm pretty pleased with how this look came out to be honest I mean I don't know I think maybe if I would change it I would take the um shimmer a bit higher on my eyelid because I think I've done too much green above my eyelid and not enough shimmer but apart from that i'm pretty happy with this look it's all right in it here are the eyes a little bit closer I'll show you this side because this side's always my better side the side that i don't film <laughs> and then this side yeah i always just manage to blend a lot better when i'm not filming but i also do like these lashes but would i pay 40 pounds for them now i've tried them no so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this slightly grumpy periody tutorial I don't know <laughs> and I know it's a bit all over the place in terms of lots and lots of products but I did just kind of sit down to play and then I got the request to film it so yeah 
that is what I've done. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Please do give it a thumbs up. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.